good day everyone welcome to my channel we've got this laptop here to fix this laptop came in as a result of no display it switches on but it's blank on the screen then i asked the client what happened then he explained to me that he tried to do a bios update he tried to load in windows or so he tried to load in windows then uh, at the same time, he did a BIOS update. Then he resort to this problem. So let's check it together. Powered on. See, the laptop is on. I'm trying to go to setup now. If you, if you see it, you see that the laptop is on. You see, F10 is going to BIOS setup. It will stay in this position forever. Does it go past this position? Mind you, this laptop was working before. According to what the customer said, it was working before. It only did the uh, Windows. Uh, it installed a new Windows and do uh, what is it called? The BIOS update. So now the laptop is frozen. You see, the screen is blank. There's nothing. It doesn't pass through this process okay so what we'll be doing now i will be showing you how to solve this problem okay let's do that together we're going to we're going to take the extra the backup of this uh, file we're going to extract the backup of this file so that we'll be able to fix it. We still need the original file. The origi original file is needed to solve this problem. Okay. And I just hope this video doesn't take too much time. Uh, let's open it up now. Why is this laptop? Why is it so difficult not to open? finally get it open there you go so here is the bios chip here let's turn this so what we'll be doing we'll be extracting the original file we'll be extracting the original file then okay there you go don't think I think you can see it more better here. Here's the board number, if you know. It's HP two fifty, HP two fifty G six. Okay, then I check it out. Here's the board number there. It's for HP two fifty G six. So we'll be working with this chip now let's quickly do that
I can't believe it. I can't find my screwdriver. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay, now let's see if we can take the chip out from there with that. Let's see. Without taking out the Okay. The chip is out. Here you go. Okay, and let's grab our programmer. Okay. I'm using this program. Okay, we have our chip there. Uh, okay, let's quickly see how it goes. Let's see where's my program now. Here we go. Okay detect the chip oh, it's 1.8 so we need to change the adapter we must put a 1.8 adapter we need to put in a 1.8 adapter here's a 1.8 adapter let's quickly change this and put it on a 1.8 adapter Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Detect one point eight. Okay read okay let's get it back up so once we have our backup now our next step is to go to the official website of this hp you see in cases like this sometimes you can get a file from a from this third party or maybe from from these guys online or something still yet if you put in that file your you, your laptop will work but in some cases it's better we just fix the the original file you know cases like this it's better we just fix the original file okay let's have a backup Okay. Okay, we've got our backup, then save. Okay, let's let's just save it on desktop. Where is it now? Desktop. HP. Let's see. HP two fifty. G six back up. Sorry, back up. HP two fifty G six back up. Okay, let's save our file. Okay, come. So what will be our next step now? Let's put this one aside. What will be our next step now? 
we need to work on that file on our backup file okay so what we will do is this okay let's go to the website but i didn't want to take much of your time yes there you type hp 250 g6 then uh, you come here you set your serial number you set your serial number I'm just gonna search this serial number now. You search your serial number. Zero. Zero. Enter. It will bring out the modem of your laptop. It makes it easier. Okay? It makes it easier. So, you go to software and drivers, select your operating system, Windows 10, 64, then you submit. So now here's the BIOS. You download it. So I won't be going this process, you see, it's downloaded. I've already downloaded already. Let's go to my download. Okay, here's my download here. Here's it here. When you run an installation, eh, in process in the process of installing, you make a copy. You don't need to install it on your laptop. You make a copy, like you save it on your PC, which I've done that. Here's the file here. I'll show you. These are all the files. You see, it came out when I have a backup it came out like this these are all the files okay so now let's go back to our backup the backup we did save it on desktop let's go to the desktop now okay no before the before then let's open up the I'll show you now hsd tools okay is our hsd tool then you come here open it's save on the desktop right it says 250 where is it now hp 250 yeah there you go hp 250 back up you open it okay the this is our backup so we are going to work on this now Remember, we've already downloaded the, the BIOS from the official website. So what I will be doing here now, I will only be taking the DMI file on this backup. Then transferring it to the file which we downloaded on the official website. Why am I doing that? So that it can correspond with the serial number and everything. Okay? Okay, let's check quickly. I wanna check something. I wanna quickly check something. Bid. Bid. Okay. So we installing 0832E. That will be our file. 0832E. You see that there? 0832E. Okay. So now, pay attention on this part now. Pay a very good attention in this part now, okay? Just pay attention in this part. I'm looking for two the offset the two one one You 
this hot though. Two one one. Where is it now? Where is it now? Okay. Two. Two zero zero zero. In this part you just need to be very careful what I'm looking for I don't know I'm looking for an offset from two two one one I'll show you now I'm looking I'll tell you now the offset Okay, no. Let's go back two one one zero 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 zero. Okay, I'm still looking for that offset. I'll tell you now once I find it. Okay, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. Okay. It's like, there you go. You see? From here now. You see that? From 2020 zero, 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 zero. 1000. Zero, zero. So you copy, highlight. Going up, up. Okay, you highlight. We're going to two. I'll tell you now. We're going to two ten. F F before I pass it now. Two ten F F. We're going there now. D. Okay. F. There you go. There you go. Where is it now? Two 
to 10 ff to 10 ff Okay, there you go, 210FF. So we'll copy this file now. We'll copy this file now. Let's try to get our new the one we downloaded from the official website I'll tell you now where I save it the one from the official website there you go there's the one Okay, the one from a official website, where is it? Okay, there you go, there you go. So now we're going to copy our DMI file on this one we got from the official website. Other than that, the serial number will be missing. Okay. We're looking for two. One. Let's go up to one. Zero zero two ten two hundred and ten thousand. Two hundred and ten thousand. No, oh, you just have to be patient when looking for these numbers. Eh? You just need to be patient. Where is it now? Where is it now? Where is it now? Two ten. Okay. 
You just have to be patient. And there's one more thing which I need to tell you, and you have to make note of that. The size of this file which we are taking out, you also have to make note of it. I will tell you now the size. Two ten. Okay, we're getting there now. There you go. 210 from here. 210 to 210 FF. 210 FF. Okay, two ten FF. Two ten, make note of this two ten to two ten FF. That's strong. I need to go down more. I need to go down more. Yeah. So the length is 1000. Did you see that? The length is 1000. 210 to 210 FF. So, so I will be uh, pasting now. Okay, wait. Just hold on. Replace. Okay, I'm unable to take that file out. Let's see together again. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Where is my backup? My backup is saved on the 
on the desktop I didn't intend to make a long video like this but it's getting too long now okay here's my backup here yeah? let's take this one out we don't need this here's my backup here's the original file which I got from the official website okay so we're gonna copy from here and paste it to the other side and we should be fast with this now FF, where is that now? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, let's do this. Okay, there you go. Here. Yeah. Okay. Two one FF. Okay. We'll stop at two one. F F Okay we we'll copy this file now, which is our backup. Copy. So here, we paste. HP two fifty new save HP two fifty new okay so what will we do now let's put there let's write that chip quickly Okay, let's just quickly let's write the chip quickly. HP two fifty. HP 250 new. No, where's my new? I save it as HP 250 new. Okay. Okay. Ok, 
okay HP 250 new let's write this it will be quick it will be quick because the size is not that big the size is not so big really I didn't intend to make a long video like this I did not intend to make a long video at all well it is what it is let's see It's going to be quick though. Sorry, what am I doing? Sorry about that. What is that? It's very fiery now. So after the verification process, then we can put the chip back to the board. Let's see if it's done now. It's a bit slower. Eh? Okay. We're done. That's it. Let's put back the BIOS chip back to the port now. Let's take it back to the port. Okay.
him. I think our uh, chip is in properly. Okay. Let's let's do this. Let's put everything together now. But in the meantime, let's give him a little bit time to cool down. Okay. Let's test together. The battery, let's connect the battery. The battery. Powered on. The laptop is on. I see the power here on the side. Okay, it's trying to recognize the file. It's trying to recognize the new file. trying to recognize the new file okay he said the manufacturer product mode okay I'm trying to enter the okay there you go you see now we are unable to enter the the BIOS setup it was unable to get to this stage do you remember the first time when we started it was showing loading setup but there was nothing okay okay let's see if we can put to window let's see if it if we can book to window let's see if we can put to window okay It's restarting. Okay, no, let, let's do default quickly. Let's see if I can quickly do set to default quickly. Default F9, so default. Then. Let's see. It's restarting now. I guess it should be able to load the windows now. You see that we've got a logo there, HP. It's loading windows now. You see that? 
it's loading the windows Okay, it's working now. I think uh, there's no point having this video long because I didn't intend to make a long video like this. You see, I didn't really have that intention to make a long video. I was thinking maybe something about 15 minutes or 10 minutes, this thing will be done. But unfortunately, the opposite was the case. Okay, so. The laptop is fine you see remember it's because it was a new five there that's why it's doing all this process okay i will stop this video now like and subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up sorry for the time it was so long eh? it was so long and please make note of those parts you copy the dmi of the backup to the to the extracted ones which you got which which you got from the official website so that otherwise it won't recognize the serial number you see it will recognize the serial number you take that information then you put it on this other side then you'll be good to go okay thank you for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye